That is the sound of filling up one of my water tanks. Gonna head out on a trip. So I'm here uh, where I was camping in my last video. Uh, I said I was going to come back and pick blackberries. They were green then, but a whole bunch of them are looking pretty nice right now. So I'm going to pick up blackberries for breakfast before I move on. I don't think I'm going to stay here. It's a little bit cold by the ocean, actually, and kind of windy. So I'll do a little bit of picking, and then we'll be on our way. So I'm going to use an overripe. Ow. All right. Beautiful, wonderful, healthy, free food. I don't even know if I'll be able to eat that. Well, I'm out for four days. Might be able to eat all that. But, um, boy, it's going to make cereal in the morning nice. Happy picking. I love this time of year. And we're on our way again. Let's see what happens next. We got lots of blackberries anyways. That's nice. Well, I checked this place out last time I was out here, and I didn't stay here, but it's kind of a beside the highway spot. Boy, it's um, it's nice and sunny, and there's no wind here, and it's an ugly spot. And there's that creepy road that I went down the last time, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's not too bad. Um, there's some cleanup, because there's wipes and all kinds of shit everywhere. But um, I think I might hang out here for a while and see. I might not spend the night. But I don't know. We'll see. It's really nice here right now. Pull out a chair and have a beer. See what happens. Well, cheers. I got myself a beer. And I'm sitting here in the sun. I have leveled the truck. So that usually indicates that I'm going to stay uh, wherever I do that. And um, this place is not too bad. Normally I'm looking at a mountain or the ocean or something like that. But I don't usually camp somewhere where I'm just looking at nothing. But I do appreciate the sunshine because I was down near the water a couple of times on the way here. It's windy and it's about five degrees colder. So uh, this is nice and hot, boy. <laughs> it's great. And uh, so I think I'll hang out here. Um, it's not 100% that I'll stay the night, but I probably will. Kind of looks like I'm settled in. Beauty. The best part is the sun. Isn't that great? You know what? It's near the end of the beautiful weather. And I'm just happy to be sitting in that sunshine. Beautiful. Just beautiful.
Mm, good. How pleasant. Well, I thought these were big old piles of sand. However, they are not. They are big old piles of dumped concrete. Too bad I was going to use it for my, well, morning, you know. However, that's not going to help me even one bit. However, this beautiful banana slug, he seems to like a better concrete. Mmm, delicious. Well, this isn't good. This is broken on my fridge. This is the the part that you can see, if you can see. 
um, these broke. I didn't have anything in there that was high up. But um, yeah, so these have broken. So now I can't tighten down the fridge. That's kind of too bad. Um, it'll probably be okay for this trip, but I, I would imagine this is a part that I can order. All right, well, as usual, it's kind of past lunchtime now. Um, I'm going to have breakfast. I just don't really eat that early. I don't like to. But I'm just going to give these um, a little bit of a, a swish with some water and then put them on some cereal. Don't those look good? Nice. Cornflakes, blackberries. Brunch is served. Well, I just realized by looking at my reflection in the mirror there that I'm not wearing my big boy pants at all. I've been filming all morning in my camouflage underwear. <sighs> well, what are you going to do? Can't do anything about it. Oh, well, I'll go put some well, pants on. Here it is. Quarter to two in the afternoon. I haven't even left. I'm so lazy about that. I guess I just like hanging around more than I like driving around. That's okay. Um, I got my big boy shorts on now and I'm um, ready to take off. So we're going to go find another place to camp for tonight. So let's uh, go do that now. Hey, I just got to take a look at this place here. The river's right here. Let's like to see what we got right here. Oh my goodness. Just going to get out and take a peek. So I was here once before and there's literally a river flowing through here. Where'd it go? Isn't that interesting? That is something. Ooh, there's a bench. That's uh, some big old trees that have fallen there.
Uh, I'm not used to shady spots. Because where there's shade, there's always mosquitoes. I don't know, think about it. Though this place is pretty neat. Um, I only like camping in the sun. So I'm going to move on. found what they're calling a wilderness road. I don't know what that um, means as far as this goes. Sorry for the shaky camera again. My suction cup that sticks to the window broke. So now I got this shaky camera because it's going off my phone. It's super annoying. But I'm going to drive out this logging room for a while, see what happens. Or wilderness road, pardon me. And see where we are in a little bit. Oh, we are way the hell up here on this uh, wildlife road. And I don't like it. It doesn't look like there's anywhere to camp. I'm getting vertigo looking off to that side. I'll show you why. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, so fun to explore, but really there's just, that's the edge right there. Huh. Uh, yeah, there's just no camping spots big long road oh, just trying to get turned around it's a big long road but with no camp spots so let's head back down want to slip that's like a salmon farm down there maybe Fish farm, some kind of thing. There's a campsite. No thanks. I saw a bear poop twice too on the way up here. So there's bears up here. Well, we made it down. Now let's keep looking for a camp spot. Oh, let's get out of four wheel drive first. And we're good to go.
well we did a little river crossing and uh now we're on these uh on the uh i don't know on this beach we're literally going to where i heard that thumping monster in the one of the videos i did last year but that's okay i've been wanting to come across here and uh just kind of hang out by the river it's really a dream really i'm pretty sure we'll stay here for one or two days so i'll find us a spot up here and get kind of set up and uh talk to you again real soon well <laughs> i don't know what to say that's a beautiful spot i'm glad to have come back here um i didn't cross the river last time i was here um but i've driven out a little ways here and it's um it's as wild as it gets and um i think i deserve this mm. cheers gross Eh, it's okay. I should have celebrated with something I actually like, but it's not too bad. Oh well, ruined the moment. Thanks, girls. <laughs> Look behind you. I can put my fancy water shoes to good use now. It's nothing like camping in the sun where you can put your feet in the water at least. And my kayak is, oh, I see somebody over there. Boy, I just came at the right time. Beauty. Frog. Go to the water, little frog, go to the water. Oh my god, he's so cute. Go to the water, little frog. Keep going to the water. Keep going. Oh, he's so cute. He's so green. I don't know if I'm getting him or not. Wow. Go to the water. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Loud parties, maybe? Well, you can sure hope not, anyway. Well, camp is virtually set up. Don't have the awning out. Don't need to deploy it for any reason. This is uh, really a perfect spot. Isn't that nice? Those guys down there, they're quite a ways away. So they might not be bothering me. But you know how it is. They get the liquor in them. Once that happens, you start hearing a lot of noise. But I won't let that dissuade me from my fun. And this is going to be a perfect place to sleep tonight. Beef stew. Beef stew tonight. It's getting quite windy. That's okay. Keeps the mosquitoes away.
put it on low. That looks healthy. had fun today messing around with the Osmo action camera and uh, doing head cams and stuff kind of cool but uh, so tomorrow I'll get up and get the uh, little kayak going and float around for hours on the water sounds good to me all right peace out victory Ukraine You know, there comes a time when I just start hearing things in the woods. Probably not even there, but I hear rustling. That's always when I decide it's time to go to bed. Well, I'm up in the tent and um, thinking about getting some shut eye here pretty soon. I'm going to turn on Netflix, watch something. I don't know what. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty sleepy. It's been a long day. And, um... Tomorrow, I'm expecting good weather and a whole lot of floating around on the river. So, uh, sleep tight, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. Just listen to that. So quiet in the morning. Well, it's a little chilly out this morning. But I'm just going to get some coffee going. And um, some of that sunshine ought to make its way to me at some point. But boy, it's serene and beautiful here right now. Wow. Judging by how wet this water line is here, you can see the shoreline here. That was not like that yesterday. So maybe it's just because it's the end of the summer, but I guess this river is draining out too. That's really bizarre. Arr, 
she'd be ready to sail. Ain't no finer ship on the sea, if you ask my opinion. If she sinks, well, it's Davy Jones' locker for me. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that these two huge trees, we're looking at the stumps, were just torn out of the ground and floated down this river and landed here. Is, does this river really get that full? They're huge. Gonna be some wind noise. That's for sure. We hear is blackberries. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Oh, these are perfect too. Just perfect snack. <laughs> nice. Aren't you beautiful? Well, I spent a ton of time kayaking today, and uh, so now I'm kind of tired, and I'm lying here doing some sun tanning. Wow, it's a rough life. It's a terrible, terribly rough life. I'm just going to have a little nap, I think, and then think about dinner. Well, it's all quiet around here right now, which is nice. A little bit of chicken cooking. And, uh... Yeah, it's nice and quiet. 
The sun is hot. The wind just died down. It's been really windy, which is fine. We all know what that means. No mosquitoes. But yeah, this place is paradise. I went from a roadside sketchy camping spot to paradise. I'm going to stay here one more night. And then the last night, I'm going to find another sketchy roadside place. Well, here's dinner. I had some Mr. Noodle a little while ago. And tonight I'm having some chicken. Now, go away, fly. Now I'm going to go down to the water and eat it. Well, I'm very glad that I bought these um, lens protectors for my uh, new phone because the wind got my uh, uh, tripod and knocked it over and busted the lens cover. I'm glad it wasn't the actual lens on the phone. So uh, the company gave me four, which is good because I need three. So I've got an extra one, so that's good. But um, I've got to be more careful. The gust of wind also knocked over uh, my ready light. And it landed smash on its face. It's not the first time that's happened. But it's getting kind of beat up. That's okay. Keeps on ticking. Easier to replace than the phone. There's bats. The bats are flying around eating the flying ants, I think. I'm going to make a shadow angel with my lights on the Jeep. There's now people camping everywhere. So I met some of the people and they seem very nice. But this area on the weekends quite crowded and um, I'm used to coming in like on a Monday, Tuesday or even a Sunday and there's nobody here so um, but everybody's being respectful and nice so um, I'm just going to pretend like I'm here all by myself probably the best thing to do and um, I don't want to be put off because this place is it's amazing so incredibly nice. Wow, I had a really good sleep last night. It was great. Got my coffee already made. I just thought I'd come back up here and do some video editing while it's still nice and early in the morning. It's not too early. It's actually getting near 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's early enough. Um, so today's just going to be another day of hanging around, having a nice time. Just slept like a baby last night. It was great. And there's, there are some people here. Some people right beside me and some other people on the way over there. But it's the weekend. And it's to be expected. And uh, there was no rowdiness, which is awesome. And so I'm just going to do some editing, relax, and drink my coffee. Peace out, man. And women. Well, I'm having the usual breakfast at noon, and uh, I would say that that fridge is running a little colder than I need it. However, the ice cubes stay frozen. It's been four days, and my bag of ice is still frozen. So there's kind of a happy medium going on here. Um, frozen milk, that's okay. A little cold, but that's all right. Nice. Hello. Boy, nothing seems to bother you. Or do you just sit still for defense? A piece of art? Or a scary animal? A 
mystical sea creature. That's it. That's the sound. Well, that's twice. And you know, I have been camping right in front of this spot. I haven't heard this once in the three days I've been here. As soon as I walk in here, it happens twice. I don't know what to say about that. Well, the sun is going down on another day. And there's millions of little bugs, flying ants, I guess, probably mating. Don't think they live very long, so they just get down to business as soon as they can. Yep. Well, you can have a quiet night. Probably watch a little TV, go to sleep, and then tomorrow I'm going to find a, well, another sketchy roadside campsite for one night. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I've woken up to kind of a smoky environment this morning. And... Um, See the sun's kind of yellow and some smoky haze around. Don't know what's going on. And um, apparently uh, my wife, I was talking to her via sat phone. She says down in Victoria too, it's kind of nasty. And um, so um, just packing up. I'm almost completely packed up already and making coffee at the same time. And going to take off to um, our last campsite for this trip. Don't know where it's going to be, but we'll find one. Here we go. Uh, hopefully up we go. No problem. Let's see what's going on around here. I've been traveling on this road for a little while now and um, I haven't seen anywhere to camp and again it's kind of far from the road I want a kind of a roadside thing anyways see what happens keep posted and there's uh, another road the last one didn't end up going anywhere it was just not very nice and there I've, I counted five blobs of bear scat so there's obviously lots of bears around here. I hope we get to see one. Holy nice. This is roadside and I just don't want to call it sketchy. So that's where I came in. That's where I'm camping. So, roadside. And it turned out to be a nice spot. Better check the gully here for bodies. Nope, it's looking good. Nice. I'm gonna have to mark this place because uh, it's pretty nice, decent. Well, here's the woods right off the uh, camp spot. And uh, seems on the other side there seems to be a hiking trail. Not so much on this side, but they've got um, a porta potty for some reason. I don't know. Um, you could use that one, or you could use that one. I don't think so. Matter of fact, I don't think I'll use either of them. Gross. I have to look in now. 
Ew. Can't imagine anybody uses this one. Unless they're really, really desperate and someone's in the other one. Yuck. I hope we'll just skip those. But anyways, it looks beautiful in here. Well, since there's nothing happening, let's do something boring like see what's inside my drawers. Well, let's see. We got a bowl. We got a couple of cups. This one here I use to brush my teeth with. This one here I never use. And these two coffee cups I also never use. And Kleenex, which I almost never use. And then we have um, two bins full of sundries. I don't know if that's the right word. And here's some more sundries. There's what's in here. Oh, I got a couple of rices. I got some tea. I got some potatoes. Those are actually really good. And I got some toothpicks. Very important. And I got some matches. Not that important. Let's see. That was good for that drawer. Let's see what we got up here. All right. There's more sundries up here. I don't know. Does sundries mean food? I'm not sure. That's salt for cleaning the scottle when I use it. And I got soups. Mr. Noodles. I know it's dumb, but when I'm camping, it's just so easy. Um, some bread that's going to go moldy soon. Corn flakes, which I haven't had for a while. And an orange and some more fruit and some peanut butter. Empty bag. Empty thing. Shotgun shells. Butter. And, most importantly of all, coffee. Nice. All right. That's a tour of the kitchen. Well, down here I have one of these. And some of those, and one of these, and the coffee press, very important. Tiny frying pan. And that's about it, folks. Nice, right? Well, that's a nice looking meal right there. Pretty predictable being chicken stew and all. And um, I don't know, it's a nice way to end the day. And sort of go into the evening just like that well folks unless something amazing happens that's worth filming uh i'm going to uh, wrap this video up now i'd like to thank you again for coming along with me please like and subscribe the video as it helps the channel of course and um have fun out there and thanks again for watching run for the hills we'll see you next time